Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this Frigidaire Affinity Top Load Washer. This is one of the few Agitub washers that I've seen in recent time. And you're probably wondering why am I doing a review on a washer that's actually already been discontinued and there's a good reason for it. Speed Queen just came out with a similar version of the same thing, an Agitub washer. For those of you who don't know what an Agitub is, it is basically a washer where the agitator is not separate from the actual wash tub. So during the wash action, the agitator and the tub move as one. So there's no, you know, separate action going on there. This washer was probably around 600 bucks new. It was built it had a manufacture date of 2012, so it's been out for a few years. This particular machine is a used washer. I got it in off a scrap truck, and it worked other than the fact that it had a noisy uh, spin bearing, which basically made me condemn the machine, but I figured let's make a video of it because, you know, when am I going to see another one of these? And let me tell you, holy cow, that's cold water. I picked the warm wash cycle and that water was absolutely frigid. It probably net, let in absolutely no hot water. It was freezing. No wonder it did such a terrible job ultimately. Um, I did just want to go over a couple of things. I'm going to try and make this video short. This washer took one full hour from start to finish to wash a regular load of clothes on the normal setting, which is absolutely ridiculous. Furthermore, it did an absolutely terrible job washing. Although you do see my microfiber towels, they did move around a little bit. It's just ridiculous. This, this part of the video is actual full, you know, regular speed. I didn't fast forward it or anything. And you can see that the washer is just doing not much of anything. It's just swirling around the clothes and, and not doing much. There is an attempt at a bloom action towards the center. If you look closely, it is trying to push those clothes up. It does a little bit ultimately, but not enough to actually do anything serious. So now we're two out of two Agitub washers that don't perform very well. And it makes me wonder if this washer came out in 2012, they had four or five years to check this machine out and realize that it didn't do a very good job washing. If you look up this particular model number, you'll see the reviews are absolutely horrendous. And nobody liked this washer, including myself. I thought it was terrible. As you can see, it really does a great job of splashing that water around and empty. You would be fooled into thinking that this thing would actually do a good job. And it probably does if all you're washing are a few hand towels, but you know, as are most edge repeller machines, you know, as long as you put like three things in it and use like 40 gallons of water, it'll do a fine job just like washing in your bathtub would. Here it is washing a full size thin blanket. And as you can see, it's just kind of swirling it around. It did an absolutely terrible job. There was lint everywhere, soap still stuck on the machine. I mean, it was, just worthless. I could have done a better job rinsing it off in the shower. I will say that with that comforter or that blanket, the Speed Queen top loader actually did a pretty good job on that particular blanket. I was really uh, kind of impressed. It did have a little bit of a linting issue, but uh, the Speed Queen definitely did much better than this uh, washer uh, did on this blanket. It kind of makes me believe that maybe a wash plate isn't the answer for the Speed Queen washer. Maybe they just need to do a taller two-piece agitator or, you know, ultimately install a mode shifter because this wash plate is proof that it just does not do a good job. So a lot of you people are probably wondering, hey, is there even a good top load washer out there? And the answer is yes, kind of. If you're looking for a brand new machine, I would strongly suggest look at front load washers. They naturally do a better job uh, in every perceivable category. I know a lot of people have complaints about 
you know, going off balance or mildew issues or whatever. And a lot of that is user error. If you use the appropriate amount of soap, uh, tend to use a few warm washes every once in a while and take advantage of the self-clean cycle on the machine, you'll generally have good results. As far as like a good top load washer, I've used the LG, I believe it was a WT1501 and I thought it was okay. Uh, it did a pretty reasonable job washing clothes. It actually was able to wash a pretty decent sized blanket. I had it personally at my house for at least 45 or 60 days and I didn't make any videos of it sadly, but just take my word for it. It washed my pants. It did an okay job. It wasn't the best washer in the world, but as far as top loaders go, new, I'd say that that's one of the better ones out there. One thing that I would urge you guys to consider if you are watching these videos because you're looking for a new washing machine, take into consideration what kind of washer you currently have. If you have a 15 or 20 year old washer and you're just looking to upgrade for efficiency reasons or you know you think a new washer is going to wash better than your old washer, I would strongly urge you to rethink that position and consider getting your old washer fixed. Ultimately you'll save yourself a ton of money and a lot of heartache when you buy a washer such as you know whoever the poor chap that bought this washer and realize that it is a terrible machine. You should consider finding one of your reputable used appliance dealers and see what they have available. For a couple hundred bucks, you could buy a fantastic performing 20 year old Kenmore or, you know, Whirlpool built direct drive washer, which in my opinion are one of the best washers out there. They're a little rough on the clothes, but you know, I'm kind of a working class type of person. So I need a washer that is uh, a little bit more aggressive on the agitation side. If you're, you know, washing silk blouses or whatever, um, the Kenmore Direct Drive might not be uh, the one for you, but that's where you should get a front loader and take advantage of the gentle cycle. Make sure you do your research on whatever company that you're thinking about buying from. Uh, look them up on Google, see what kind of reviews they have. Uh, Better Business Bureau or just any type of reference that you could find. There's a lot of shady, you know, scammers out there that'll sell you a washer that is broken or on its last leg. And you don't want to go through that. And most definitely, you know, avoid Craigslist and offer up and all those things. You know, there's just so many scammers out there. It is absolutely pathetic. I definitely don't recommend going that avenue. This washer, as you guys could see, is just finishing up its cycle. It did an absolutely terrible job. I mean, I couldn't stress to you enough. This was probably one of the worst washers I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I have no words for it. It just was garbage. Right after this video, I immediately disassembled it, um, and it's on its way to the recycler. Even if this thing did work and it was fixable, I wouldn't sell it. It's just absolutely terrible. I mean, there's some junky washers out there, but this one really is something else. Um, another thing I want to talk to you guys about, I did just buy a new camera and I'm still trying to figure it out. Evidently it's having a difficult time focusing during the spin cycle. I want to work on that. I don't know what to do. Maybe I need to fix the lens or something. I'm not sure. I'm kind of new to making videos. I have very little experience editing videos. I actually did a crash course on YouTube to try and learn how to edit my own videos. So that way there's at least some entertainment value to them. And I appreciate you guys watching them. Uh, and I promise you, I will try and make better videos uh, as, as I make them. I also improved my lighting. I bought some studio-ish quality lights. Um, so hopefully you guys could see the uh, wash action, uh, you know, clearly instead of in a dimly lit room. Uh, also, I just wanted to say thank you guys. I appreciate it. We have, uh, I think I just hit 100 subscribers, which was pretty uh, amazing. I'm really uh, happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. I'll try and make some more uh, in the coming weeks. 
Uh, don't forget to, you know, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Leave a comment below. If you have any special requests for any specific machines, if I have them in stock, I'll definitely do them. If I don't have it, I'll try and get it and do it. But you guys just have to be patient. It's, you know, ordering appliances is it's a long process and it's expensive. And then I have to make videos, which takes even more time. If anyone wants to see the full wash videos of this particular washer, just let me know. Um, I'll post them. Otherwise, um, I probably won't. They, you know, very boring and it's an hour long and it's, you know, kind of difficult to watch it not working so but if you guys want to see it i'd be happy to uh put them up there and let you guys see it i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video